Hey, it's Andy with IT Supplies. The Epson G6070 printer is taking the DTF market by storm. In fact, Epson hasn't been able to keep up with the demand for this new printer. Customers are resonating with Epson's value proposition, an entry-level price point, Epson print quality, and a fully warrantied printer with next day site on-site service for up to five years. As we discuss the G6070 with customers, there is a frequent question that we're asked. How much does it cost to make a shirt? Today, we're gonna to take a scientific approach and tell you exactly how much it will cost to make DTF transfer prints with the Epson G6070. The Epson G6070 DTF printer costs just $14,495. When you bundle a shaker dryer like this Miro 36, your total cost for the equipment is just under $21,000. But the equipment purchase is just the start. Before making the plunge into DTF printing with the Epson G6070, you need to know how much it will cost to make shirts. That's just good business practice, and we want all our customers to be successful. Today, we're gonna to take a look at the three material costs when using the Epson G6070. That's the ink, the film, and the powder. These are your three input costs along with the garment that you're gonna be printing on. If we can give you accurate cost expectations for ink, film, and powder, then you'll be able to make confident decisions about buying a G6070 printer or about how to estimate for your jobs. So what is our process to give you accurate representative costs? We're going to print three different files with different amounts of ink coverage. We're gonna size each of these at 12 inches by 12 inches, so they will be each one square foot. The Epson G6070 comes with access to Epson's cloud solution port software. This is a free tool that every Epson user should take advantage of. It lets you see all kinds of data about your Epson printers, but one of the most useful tools is the ink usage tracking. Whereas some RIP softwares will estimate ink usage, Epson's port software tells you exactly how many milliliters you were actually firing on the jobs that you've printed. When we printed these three 12 inch images, we got three different amounts of ink usage, which is what we would expect. Different designs will use different amounts of ink. When we averaged the three, we found that we used 3.08 milliliters of ink to print those 12 inch by 12 inch files. Interestingly, of the 3.08 milliliters of ink used, white ink made up 2.42 milliliters, so about 80%. We know that the Epson G6070 comes in bulk ink 1.6 liter bags at a very aggressive price point of 11 cents per milliliter. So with that information, we can estimate that you'll spend 33 cents in ink per square foot. To adapt this to the size of your print, you can use an ink cost of 0.23 cents per square inch. Just take the height and width of the image that you plan to print, say 10 inches by 12 inches, and multiply those two dimensions together. So a standard 10 inch by 12 inch print is 10 inches times 12 inches, 120 square inches. Take our per square inch ink cost of 0.23 and multiply it by 120 to get the estimated ink usage for your shirt, 27.6 cents. Does that make sense? Okay. So now we have a really good way of estimating the ink cost on the Epson G6070. Next, we need to dial in the film cost. There is a really wide variety of film options for DTF printing, and they come at all different price points. We're always testing new films, but our preferred DTF film right now is Color Prime Quick Glide. We like this film for a number of reasons. It has a great ink receptive layer that allows us to load up a lot of ink for extreme vibrant prints. It is instant peel, meaning you can immediately peel the film away after pressing. This, this speeds up your production versus cold peel or even hot peel films that require some time before peeling. We like that it comes 36 inches wide to make the full use of the Epson G6070 print width. And we like that over our time using the film, we haven't received a defective roll. It's been very consistent. So with all that in mind, we are sure you can find cheaper DTF films in the market, but we're gonna use the Color Prime Quick Glide for our cost estimates. A 36 inch by 327 foot roll of film is $219 per, so per square foot, it's about 22 cents. On a per square inch basis, that comes to 0.15 cents per square inch. Okay, so now we know our ink cost is about 33 cents per square foot and our film cost is about 22 cents per square foot. What about our powder costs? It's important that your powder and your film are compatible. We are using the Color Prime Hot Melt Powder that is made to work with the Color Prime Quick Glide Film. The powder comes in one kilogram bags for $32.99. That means the powder is about three cents per gram. 
We weighed our prints before and after powdering and found that we averaged 0.4 grams of powder on our one square foot prints. That means we can estimate 1.3 cents of powder used per square foot or one one hundredth of a penny per square inch. I would probably just round this to one penny of powder used per full size shirt print. So there you have it. We've calculated all of the input material costs to make a DTF print with the Epson G6070. We have an average of 56 cents in ink, film, and powder per square foot. If an average shirt design is 10 inches by 12 inches, that puts your per shirt costs at 46 cents. But if your designs will be smaller or larger, you now have the formula to estimate the cost by the square inch. The very best way to know your costs before buying a printer is to let us print some of your images and report back to you with the actual ink usage. Take 30 seconds to upload your sample file at itsupplies.com backslash print samples, and we'll provide you with the real costs along with printed transfers so that you can evaluate the incredible quality possible with the Epson G6070. This video idea came about because customers asked for it. If you found it helpful, please like and subscribe below. If you have other ideas for videos, please put those in the comments so we can make the kind of content that you find helpful. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day.